Hey everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT Channel. Today we're looking at VirtualBox from the command line. Specifically, we're going to take a look into what you can do with the VBox Manage List command. And there are various options. Let's get started. All right. So we are going to look at VBox Manage. This is the utility that comes with VirtualBox. It's available for Linux, Mac OS, Windows, wherever you run VirtualBox, you will have this command. Now, one little caveat is that if you are running on Windows, you either have to adjust your path so that you can run the commands from your current directory or you need to navigate to the system folder where VirtualBox is installed in program files. So for Windows users, keep that in mind. For anybody on a Unix-like system, Mac OS, BSD, Linux, these commands are all going to run without change and you don't even have to move which directory you're in. We're going to start out by listing all of the VMs on a system. So we're just going to say VBox manage list VMs. And it's going to spit back a list. Now, generally speaking, in a lot of instances, it is best not to use spaces in your VM names. As you can see in this particular VM right here, I have used hyphens and underscores where you might normally have spaces. This makes it a lot easier when you are trying to work with the names of the VMs. However, you can usually get around any issues by using quotation marks, such as if we were to use the Microsoft Edge Windows 10, that's got a space and a dash and a space, we could get around it using quotation marks. Now, the other way to do this is you have a unique ID assigned to each VM. If you were to copy this string of characters, you could get around the problem of having spaces in a VM name. All right, we'll clear the screen. What if you wanted to list the running virtual machines. Well, the command might be exactly what you would think. VBox manage list running VMs. And I don't have any VMs currently running. All right. What if you want to know a list of the different OS types that are recognized by VirtualBox. Again, VBox manage list and the subcommand is OS types. And again, it lists out all of the different types of operating systems and their different versions that VirtualBox supports and there is quite a list here. I'm still not to the top of this. All right, we're not going to keep going on that. What if you wanted to list the internal networks? Now, this gets into some of the networking voodoo that you can perform with VirtualBox. But a list of internal networks, meaning networks that go in between the virtual machines, and may or may not necessarily be able to operate outside of those VMs. So you could in fact have completely isolated machines that even the machines on your network can't readily reach into. So you could say VBox manage list int nets. And I've got a few that I've set up for various projects. Usually in my particular use cases, I have virtual machines with multiple 
virtual network cards. And so one will be on my actual network and one will be an isolated network. All right, so what, what's the next command that we might find interesting? We've done internal networks. Let's move on to listing USB devices attached to the host machine. So we'd say VBox manage list USB host. And I'm actually going to pipe this into less just so we can see everything and not miss it. All right, so we've got an optical mouse, Behringer UMC 202 HD, that's my audio interface. We've got gaming keyboard, which apparently every mechanical keyboard is listed as a gaming keyboard. My Elgato Stream Deck, my Seagate external hard drive, Apple Bluetooth USB host controller, IR receiver, webcam, and that is the end of the list. Okay, so we've looked at USB devices, and so we can also look at VirtualBox global system properties. So again, VBox manage list system properties. And it lists all the different kinds of devices that are available on the edition of VirtualBox you are running, which can be useful in certain situations. How about extension packs? VBox manage list ext packs and of course you normally want to see that the extension pack version matches the version of VirtualBox you're running and it actually gives you a description of what the extension pack includes and here's actually the command that I was searching for when I started putting that together this list uh, is the groups that I've got set up in VirtualBox. VBox manage list groups. And it shows you the groups that I've got set up and VMs are, some of the VMs are in these groups. Not all of them, I've got some hanging out loose a little bit. And then the last useful command that I found in the in the list of VBox manage list subcommands was VBox manage list webcams. And it actually comes back with the webcam that I've got hooked to the computer and the unique ID or address of that camera as seen by VirtualBox. So we have just scratched the surface of what VBox Manage is actually capable of doing. In order to keep this in sort of bite-sized chunks, I'm breaking this up into a small series. And so other videos in this series will be including things like being able to export and import VM images into VirtualBox, starting and stopping virtual machines from the command line. Many of the things that you can do, I'm going to break this into a series of three, maybe four total videos, and we're going to go through some of the scenarios where this would be useful and some of the commands in a little bit of detail so that, you know, you don't necessarily have to fire up the graphical virtual box manager interface and you know this can be useful if you are on a somewhat resource constrained machine and you need to conserve as many resources as possible all right so that's going to bring us to the end of this video if you like the video please take a moment give a thumbs up 
click the bell icon for notifications. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, it would be great if you do so. And also go down to the bottom and leave some feedback. Interacting with the video helps YouTube and their algorithm to know that you want to see more content from me. And it helps me to know that, hey, this video is doing better or maybe worse than some of the other videos I've put out. So feedback is crucial for moving this all forward. And on that note, I want to thank you again for watching. Stay safe out there. Happy computing. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.